Yep, probably the last barbecue we're going to have for heading back to New England, see family, birthdays, grandchildren, Easter, shopping. It's going to be a non-stop whirlwind adventure, but no barbecuing. This is uh, Sid's unscented perfume for her buddies, the mosquitoes. But as soon as she puts it on, if I'm anywhere in the house, I can smell it. It's not unscented. I don't know, maybe it's unscented if you don't have any nose. Maybe it's unscented if you're a mosquito. Yeah, maybe that too. <laughs> just popped up again out there, but of course I wasn't filming. And where he was, to where he came up again, I can really hold it. breath. Well, that'll be the last sunset on Cupid's Key for a little bit. Not that long, but a few, good few nights. And uh, beautiful sunset and a dolphin. Wish I had gotten better pictures of the dolphin. Just right there. See him right there? I need another arm. You can sort of see him. I don't know, he's some kind of a little heron or light something. It only comes out at night. You never see him during the day. Just eats bugs. Well, tomorrow's travel day. Travel day is always a fun one. Um, but this is actually, hopefully, going to be a pretty good one. We leave around 9.30. We get to Boston around 4. And hopefully into Maine mm, between 7 and 8. Um, and then, I mean, most of that we're not doing anything. Go to bed, get up, leave early, drive to May, uh, drive to Vermont. Um, hopefully don't get a big snowstorm. Uh, have a day with the kids and grandkids, birthday parties, good food, visiting, and then turn around and drive back through the mountains to Maine, because we're going to have my parents with me. Um, so... The next few days, well, actually, this whole trip is going to be, I'd be amazed if we don't do two, three thousand miles in the time we're gone without any trouble and without leaving New England. Well, we'll see.